Airplane has retractable stabilizers called sealers, which help keep an even flow of air pressure over the craft's lifting surfaces. That's what the plane's inventor, Bill Horton, claims, and he designed and built it, too. Aerodynamic experts told Bill his creation wouldn't fly. They said the same thing about the bumblebee, too. So let's wait and see. Here she comes, and she's airborne. Like the bumblebee, Bill Horton's flying machine proves the experts aren't always right. More power to the bee and to Bill Horton. The world's tiniest plane, a real midget midget, gets a lift to the Palm Springs airport for its first flight. Sky Baby is her name, and she sure is. Measures less than eight feet from wingtip to wingtip. Weighs only about 400 pounds. Test pilot Bob Starr, who helped build the bitty biplane, as he affectionately calls it, hasn't much room, but he's got plenty of confidence in Sky Baby. Personally, I'd feel just as safe being jockey on a horse fly. Sky Baby hits 150 easily. A busy little bee of the airways. You can call it an automobile or you can call it an airplane, and you'd be right on both counts because it's an air fibian. At home in the air and on the ground. The versatile vehicle lands in New York after a flight from Connecticut to be exhibited at the International Motor Sports Show. The fuselage rolls away, the wings are peeled off, the prop is removed, and presto, you have a cozy convertible complete with all the trimmings of a deluxe automobile. But these trimmings don't come with this model. They belong to Shirley Talbert, queen of the motorsport show, who rolls down the highway with Fraser Doherty, pilot, chauffeur, and manufacturer of the Air Fibian. It flies, it gets through traffic, it has a pretty girl. Now if it could only sprout its wings to get out of traffic. Howard Hughes, noted aircraft producer, unveils his monster helicopter to the public and Air Force officers at Culver City, California. Powered by turbojet motors, the huge copter is designed primarily to lift great weights. It is the largest aircraft of its kind known. And when perfected, it is expected to take off and carry the load of a small freight car. And in passenger models, upwards of 100 persons. The copter itself weighs 40,000 pounds, and its rotating blades measure 125 feet from tip to tip. The 30-foot high craft is just another glimpse into the future of flight in all its varied and promising phases.